Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Sally and this is going to be your energetic love reading for the remaining days of February. It's going to be a collective energy, so take what applies to your situation and leave the rest for others. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. So Pisces, first of all, before we um, dive into your energy, let's see what Spirit has to say to you. What message does Spirit has to say to you? Spirit, what message do you have for Pisces? What message do you have for Pisces? Okay. Pisces, you have balance. What message do you have for Pisces? And you have inspiration. Mm. These two cards is wanting to come out. They came out together with balance. You have um balance, inspiration, forgiveness, and honesty. Okay. So let's see the message behind balance first. We might as well just read our last two cards it says um balance all is perfect just the way it is own and acknowledge every part of you and you will find the balance you are seeking you have inspiration let's see it says your love light and wisdom touches the hearts and minds of many you will be instrumental in helping another person change the course of their life miracles inspiration healing results Let's see the last two cards. I want it to come out. I feel the message for some of you. It says um forgiveness. It says it's time to heal old wounds. Forgiveness is required. Do not allow yourself to be a victim any longer. For in doing so, you only hurt yourself. You are internally loved. Embrace the embrace the love that is being offered and allow it to heal you. And then we have um honesty. It says love compassion and truth will heal the present situation there's so much healing going on here be honest with yourself discover what it is that you truly desire then speak your truth clearly always speak with love and compassion and know that the truth will never harm anyone when spoken from a place of love okay pisces there is so much um healing going on here okay for those of you that are seeing yourself as a victim quit that okay that's what spirit is saying quit it quit it I see what is in your oracle card. For Pisces. Collective energies. The remaining days of February 2023. For Pisces. Save for Pisces. The remaining days of February 2023. Pisces on Moon Rising of Venus. Okay. Pisces, you have children. Your love life is being affected by children. You have love yourself first. Your self esteem makes you more romantically attractive. And you have pay attention to the red flag. The signs are cautioning you for Pisces. You have past life relationship. You have known each other before. I hope you can see all the cards. Okay, let's see what is in your tarot card. Your overall energy you have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. Let's see what is in your tarot card for Pisces. Energetic love reading for Pisces. Energetic love reading for Pisces, Sun and Rising Venus for the remaining days of February 2023. Pisces, Sun and Rising, the remaining days of February 2023. Energetic love reading for Pisces, Sun and Rising Venus. Pisces on Moon Rising Venus. Okay, Pisces overall energy you have the ease of one. So I see some of you are looking forward to a new beginning. I see a new relationship coming for some of you. I see you looking forward strongly to something new coming, okay? 
I see passion in someone's heart for you. There is this burning desire in their heart for you. Let's see what is in the rest of your cards. You have the page of wands. You have the fool. You have the nine of wands. You have the king of cups. You have the magician. The hierophant. The five of pentacles. The seven of sword. The five of cups. The two of pentacles. The world. And the empress. So Pisces, you could be connecting to any signs here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Toto, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I see someone is manifesting communication with you. They do want to talk to you. There's a sense of loss with you and this person and this relationship. They are manifesting communication with you. There could be a child or children involved in this situation. Some of you could have a child with this person or you're currently pregnant for this person. Someone have to make a decision because of a child. They have to make some kind of a commitment because of a child or children. Pastors are seeking some kind of back and forth with this situation. Some of you could be connecting to someone that is married. If this person is not married, then I see that um, there is lack of balance in this situation. This person is having a hard time committing to this relationship. And I feel, Pisces, you are doing all you could to make this person see that you are ready to work on this relationship. You are on their side. You are doing everything to... Help this person to make this person realize that you are for them. You are on their side. You want um, commitment. You want stability. But this person is not someone that is very stable. So I see lack of balance here. There's no equal give and take in this um situation. I see some of you holding on to this situation. Okay, You're holding on to this situation tightly. I see that some of you are feeling left out in the cold right now. You feel a connection to this person, Pisces. Some of you are heavily looking forward to a new beginning with this person. There could be a pregnancy or a child involved here, like I said before. There could be deception surrounding the situation. I feel like some of you could be pregnant right now and you're thinking of what to do with the situation. Or there is a baby in the situation and you're thinking of what to do. Let's clarify to get more insight. Why is the Knight of Wands here for Pisces? Why is the Knight of Wands here for Pisces? We have the Queen of Pentacles. This person is going back and forth, Pisces. There's a lot of back and forth in this situation. Like I said before, some of you, this person could be committed to someone else. You could be committed to someone else. Why is the fool here for Pisces? We have here the two of cups. Pisces, I see some of you coming into a soulmate situation here. An amazing connection with someone. I feel this is new love for some of you. Why is the nine of wands here for Pisces? We have the judgment. I see someone here is not ready to make some kind of commitment to you, Pisces. They, they are not ready. They are not ready for that. They are not ready. Why is the King of Cups here for Pisces? We have here the Six of Sword. Pisces, I see some of you had to walk away from someone or you're thinking of doing so. We have here the, There's conflict in this situation. Why is the Magician here for Pisces? We have the Knights of Cups. Someone here still have romantic feelings for you. Why is the Emperor here for Pisces? We have the Ace of Cups. Pisces, I see some of you here moving into a new beginning, okay? Some of you will be moving forward into a new beginning. I see some of you leaving a married man or a married woman behind and you're moving towards a new beginning. Someone in could begin with an M or a W. Why is the Five of Pentacles here for Pisces? We have the King of Swords. There's a lot of thoughts being put into this situation. Someone is not feeling good. Someone is feeling left out in the cold. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Pisces? Pisces, someone is married here. Someone is lying. I see truth coming out to light. Someone is with someone and they are lying. They have someone else. Someone is currently living with someone. Okay. I feel like your relationship with this person is at a standstill because they have someone else. They're not committing to you because they have someone else. 
there is a deception here going on which is going to come to light Pisces why is the five of cups here for Pisces we have the three of pentacles I see an end to a third party situation why is it so of pentacles here for Pisces we have the queen of cups Pisces you still love this person you still love them why is the word here for Pisces? We have here the justice. Someone here will try to do right by you. I kind of feel this person will not be completely honest. Okay. They will come back, try to make peace with you. Or they will try to um, handle the situation as best as they could. But I feel this person will not be doing that honestly. Okay. There will still be some skeleton or cockroaches in their cupboard. Why is the Empress here for Pisces? We have the strength. Why is the strength clarifying the Empress for Pisces? We have the chariot. Someone is having a hard time moving on, moving forward, letting go. Pisces, some of you have been patient so much with this situation. You have invested a lot in this situation. Mm. Let's look at your oh god, what's where's your message? Your message I put at oh. I see. Okay, I've had it. The card. I wanted to take a look at it again. I wanted to look at your message again. Okay, too bad I've already uh, missed them up. I wanted to take a second look at your message. I feel that there is something there I need to pick up. All right, Pisces. Let's um end the reading here. Thank you for stopping by. Personal reading, personal guidance information for that will be in the description box. I'll see you in my next video. Bye and take care.